identity short move view. Matt Damon is fished out of the Mediterranean Sea by a fishing boat, ironically enough, and he has amnesia. He doesn't remember who he is, but he has a um, name or a, f a few things to go on. So he meets Marie, a, a young woman who has a bit of trouble with her situation, and asks her to drive him to a location that he thinks could help provide answers. And the two are a bit of an odd couple because he's much sort of tidier than, than her and, you know, obviously that makes for, for a more interesting couple. And as we follow them, we also sometimes check back with the CIA where Chris Cooper is trying to get Damon as, for, for reasons we discover and understand better as the movie progresses with his bureaucrat boss, Brian Cox, breathing down his neck and with techie Julia Stiles working for him, among other techies. This is a great cast and everyone does really well. This is spy action, a spy action thriller done right. It is very much in the style of 60s and 70s spy action thrillers, quite reminiscent of stuff like The Jackal, Three Days of the Condor, and with also with a nice instrumental score both, that works really well in both you know tense scenes and just yeah, not tense scenes. And the movie keeps us engaged throughout. We're not bored when there isn't action. The action is martial arts sequences, shootouts, and car chases. All of them done really well. The martial arts sequences don't feel choreographed. Instead, they come off as very spur of the moment and very, you know, th these assassins are not trying to show off what they can do physically, it's life or death, they just want to neutralize the guy they're fighting. And these are also assassins who don't tend to miss, so it's very tense in that kind of way, and weapons behave realistically in this, including but not limited to requiring reloading. And also the cops are not, you know, stupid. It's, it doesn't fall into those kind of boring cliches and sort of, yeah, stuff, stuff that makes it less realistic. It has a sense of humor about itself, which shows up here and, and there. And it also has some surprises throughout, which keep it interesting. On the whole, it is a movie that takes itself seriously, as seriously as it should, and it's a very realistic approach to the spy action thriller. Tense from start to finish. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.